Hey there, students, this is Mr. Bornheimer. And one of the things that's been happening recently in the news is all of this massive lake effect snow that's been hitting New York. There have been some people that have unfortunately lost their life and there have been record snowfall amounts. And a lot of people are asking the question, well, why all this snow in November? Because we normally associate lots of snow with those deep winter months. And so one of the things I want to try to explain to you today is why this is the ideal time for crazy amounts of snow. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a visual here. What we have here is we have a crazy cold snowy storm coming down from Canada. All right, so that's what we're going to call this guy right here. This is like father winter. All right. And what it's doing is it's blowing abnormally cold air. Okay. Cold. And it's kind of key dry air over the Great Lakes. Now we are going to kind of focus our attention on New York right here. And it looks a little backwards, but it's actually NY. Okay. And so we've got the lake, got really abnormally cold weather. And that's kind of key here. And we've got a lake. Now see in November, the lakes are still kind of warm. They're still kind of holding all of that residual heat from the summer and fall months. And so right now, they're just starting the process of cooling down. But because it is still fall, they have all of this warm, moist energy. And what happens when a cold, a dry winter storm kind of blows really dry, cold air over top of the Great Lakes is we have all of this crazy evaporation that starts to take place. And so this weather, this really cold air, absorbs all of this crazy moisture. And as a result, you get lots and lots and lots and lots of snow. And so New York gets blanketed in lots and 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 lots of snow. Okay?